How big were the steps taken on Tuesday night following the disappointment in Detroit on Monday to what you did uh, and how you did it uh, the next night? I think we responded well and I think that we came in and addressed what, what happened Monday night and then you flush it because that's all you can do with, with a 24 hour turnaround. Uh, we did a good job of that and that, that speaks to the character in the room and, the, and something that we're trying to build here. Um, you guys are buying into what Guy's preaching and saying and uh, it showed on Tuesday night. Yeah, I thought uh, you know Detroit wasn't our, our best game and um, you know, we started off the game well in Detroit but uh, you know they got you know three three goals and then you're playing from behind that's that's difficult in this league and um, but you know the way the way we responded the next night um, you know not the best start I thought I thought we had a better start in Detroit than we did yeah. against uh, Arizona but we responded well big power play goal and then uh, and then kind of got going and you know, I, I don't know if you know the score doesn't indicate you know how well we played. I know it's a, you know seven seven four kind of open uh, open style game, but I, I didn't feel that we played that way. We capitalized on opportunities. They scored a five on three goal. Um, you know, I thought we we played you know pretty well for the most part. I still have expectations for myself. Obviously, you want to improve as a player each year that uh, you know you're growing and playing in this league. You never want to take a step backwards. Um, you know, so obviously my goals for this year are to be better, you know, offensively and defensively and help this team as much as I can. As much as negative things can compound it at times, so can positive. So um, as simple as, as me getting to the net there and having one just hit me in the leg and go in uh, for our power play, you hope it leads to more and more and, and, and those things start to become habits like we've been trying to do. Uh, uh, and not just sometimes things. We're getting to the point where they're becoming all the time things and that's, that's, that's the changeover we need. Is your uh, coach out there barking like that? Was he like that in junior too? Yeah, yeah, he was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not no, not too much has changed. Obviously, really once they get his his point across, and uh, you know when you do raise the voice a little bit, you definitely get everyone's attention. So I think that's um, you know kind of the reason behind that. Bob, is that a good sign? Is that a nice uh, welcome sign to see you with his jersey hanging? There? Just that he's got a jersey hanging, yeah. It means we're making steps in the right direction, so we're happy for him. I know he's got a long road ahead of him, obviously, but uh, uh, every step forward is a step in the right direction, I think, as far as we in the room are concerned. The coach has been quite vocal um, of late, and certainly today, uh, no exception. One of the things that he said that we all heard, and I'm sure you guys on the ice did as well, and maybe your ears perked up a little bit, he was yelling at some of the younger players to to start doing it like the older guys, or the old guys, I believe is the expression he used. Now, would you have looked around and thought, I wonder if he's talking about me or Chris Neal? He's definitely talking about Neal or <laughs> not talking about me. I'm, a, I'm 24, Gordo. Yeah, I'm 20, always 24. <laughs> Three five's just a number, right? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> There's that's being mean, Gordo. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it's just a number. It's just Thanks. a number. Thanks for this. <laughs> no problem.